number 1634, Naps Copper, that's right. Brianna Fritch, Freedom, Wisconsin. Our Bread Known Award winner and second place finisher is number 1637, Naps Top Gun Jess, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. Our third place finisher, number 1633, Snyder's HP GG Aztec. Ian, Sh Ian Snyder, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. And our first place finisher, 1630, Trotacre Ernie, Selena, Grant Eitel, Enon Valley, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. Judge Seth, tell us more about this class, please. Really a fun class to line up and a quality class uh, right up and down the line, all the way down the line. As we pulled them into line, we looked at them a couple different ways. We talked about a lot of different things on uh, particularly these top three heifers. And as we evaluated them standing in line, this heifer that comes to the top was the fault-free heifer for us today. She has the advantage over this second place heifer and just being so much stronger through the chine and behind the shoulder when she moves and when she stands. She's just got that style and balance through that front end as an advantage over the second place heifer. Second over third, uh, a heifer that um, is just has so much more dairy quality. She's more open in her rib. She's got more drop to that rib. She's a bit flatter and cleaner bone. She's a little more feminine through her head and neck than this big long heifer that we started in first and just doesn't have the, uh, the makeup in that shoulder, the correct uh, correctness in that front end to get up higher in the class where we first started her. She does, however, have the advantage in strength and power uh, over this fourth place heifer. The third place heifer is tracking straighter on her front legs. She's tracking straighter on her rear legs and she's just an overall longer heifer and a lot more heifer than this lovely, lovely stylish heifer that comes out in fourth. Fourth over fifth a heifer in her own right is just flatter and cleaner bone. She's just a little sharper over that shoulder today, a little less excess flesh back through her hips, pins, and thurls than this extreme deep ribbed, uh, really well made heifer that comes out to follow. Congratulations. You're marking your catalogs in the International Red and White Show. There were 10 winter yearlings exhibited. Entry 20405 placed third and won the Bread Known Award. Style S.A. Jorka Vina Red, exhibited by Stephanie Aves of Belmont, Wisconsin. Entry 2406 was fifth. 2407 was sixth in the second junior. McNell's A. Caramac Red, exhibited by Jacob Logan and Madison Harbaugh of Marion, Wisconsin. Entry 2408 was second, Savage Lee Seltzer Red, exhibited by West Coast Holsteins of Chilliwack, British Columbia. Entry 2409 did not show. Entry 2410 was 10th. In the International Red and White Show ring, Judge Black has completed his placings in our Fall Yearling Heifer class. I'd like to recognize the juniors in the class. Second place junior is entry 2424, Windy Knoll View Fiery Red, exhibited by Haley Little of Argyle, New York. Third in the class is entry 2430, OCD Defiant Lustrous Red, exhibited by Golden Oaks Farm of Wakanda, Illinois. Second in the class, and also the first place junior, is entry 2423. Ms. Cress Hill Sapphire Red, exhibited by Owen and Kendall Cress and Savannah Bartz of Newton, Wisconsin. Winning the class and also the Bread Known Award is entry 2428, MD Hillbrook Instagram Red, exhibited by Hill, Borba, and Umble of Thurmont, Maryland. Congratulations. Judge Black, your comments. Again, not a, not a great big class here in our fall yearling class, but terrific heifers from top to bottom. And with that being said, a heifer for us, a handy winner. A heifer that has a definite advantage the way she handles her legs. She's stronger of her loin. I prefer that slope from her hips to pins than our big dark red heifer here coming out in second. The second place heifer over the heifer in third, a closer placing. If we get behind these two heifers, our heifer in third, uh, second just tracks a little square on those rear legs today. 
Then another big, powerful heifer here in third. The third place heifer over the heifer in fourth. A heifer that's just so much more heifer. She's longer from end to end. She's showing us a little more spring openness and depth to that rear flank today than this extremely well-balanced heifer here in fourth. Our fourth place heifer over the heifer in fifth. A heifer that just blends a little nicer in her parts. I prefer also the way she handles her hind legs around the ring and prefer the set to her rear legs today than another really well-balanced heifer here in fifth. Thank you.